All right, hello. Welcome, everyone, to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Read the lore, Vashnir, uh, the big, the big gal. Okay, turns out we're not a fraud. Uh, you can use crossbows with Vashnir because sometimes she does run one. So, whew, that was a close one. Now we almost fucked that up real bad. Um, okay, so everything's pretty peachy right now. We got like most of the stuff we need to get. We have every translocation spell that we need memorized. Um, that's about it. We don't really have that much else to do. Uh, I could definitely train some spell casting. I think. At some point I probably want to train like... Uh, well I mean this is a pretty good ring mail. So I'm like, I don't really know if I want to switch over to something else, but... Eh, eh, you know. Alright, what are we doing? What, 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 what video game are we playing? I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't upload yesterday. I was really struggling with my ma uh, with my mathematicians, with with my economics, if you will. Um, so I was really having a bit of difficulty doing the stuff. I had like work and then I had to like do something else for an event and then I also had to do like, uh, I was also playing a game, <laughs> but I was also studying. So it's like, ah, I didn't want to record. I was like, nah, too lazy. Absolutely too lazy, and I know that's bad, but I'm like, eh, whatever. I haven't taken a break in like a month, or at least like I think that's actually been a couple of months since I've taken my last break. So I was like, ah, eh, fuck it, I can I can take a day off. I'll get some. Uh, that's like it's like, I have like four weeks annual leave in uh, in Dungeon Crawl Stone Supin. Is it four weeks annual leave? I don't know how much annual leave normally people get. I've never worked full time, so you know, obviously as a student. You wouldn't really learn, um, you wouldn't really have, uh, four weeks on, well, sorry, full-time employment, 38, 38 hours a week, is it? I think, something like that. Anyway, we're in a nice cave. Uh, I keep, I am forgetting that we're playing Che, so I need to, like, be pretty careful about, uh, ensuring that I don't accidentally kill myself. Oh, man. I'm getting the hiccups again. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. Why do I do this to myself? Uh, Alright, plus two cloak of slay minus two, but infinite fog and sea invis with stealth. That's... Eh, it's okay, I guess. Two AC for minus two stealth. Not really a fan of that, personally, but... Permafog is pretty nice. Uh, it's nice enough that I'm, like, kind of willing to actually train evocations for it. Like, it's effectively just a fog scroll that works forever. Um, if you cast it a couple of times. It's a, it's a slightly worse fog scroll that you can just permacast, which is pretty good. So like, ah, I don't know, I guess I'll, I guess I'll hold, hold on to it. Um, ooh, it's a potion of haste. Wow. Feels bad, man. Can't use that because I'm Che. Some people ask me why I picked Che um, as a god. Mostly because like, I already picked Aquara for Agnes and uh, picking Aquara for a second time would probably be like, eh, be like, okay, but I feel like people wouldn't be as happy about it. Okay, I'm about to get destroyed here, so I'm just gonna try to TP out. There we go. Nice. Ah, okay. So I really shouldn't be moving, because when I move, I get annihilated. Uh, this is a very bad situation to be in. Fuck. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Uh, slow you down. Oh, he's still faster than me. Fuck. Uh, portal projectile. Gotta kill the Hydra. There we go. Oh, that was an Ice Fiend. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the new Ice Fiend uh, tiles. Not not a fan of it as much as the uh, the newer ones. Oh, sorry, the old one. But you know, since when has that ever stopped me from using it from playing this video game? Um. All right. It's nothing really that good. I did pick up a couple of spells though. Borgen Jaws, Vile Clutch. Which I can't really use, it's not really part of the lore, you know what I mean? Recall, again, like, it's a translocation spell, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I cannot use any of these things, because they're not... They're not Vashnia approved, you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't get the tr uh, translocation spells that I wanted. Uh, there are a couple of translocation spells here. Like, I could pick up Passage of Galubria, which is kind of a good spell. I mean, it's a very good spell, don't get, get, don't get me wrong, but... It's like, is that really kosher? Is that really on point? This one has a bunch of ones, actually. Leza Beckoning, Teleport Other, Passage of Glibra, and Summon Forest. Those are all pretty good. 
It's 1,500 gold though. Fuck, that's a lot of money. That's like all my gold. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to afford that. Like, I don't know. If, I know I can probably afford it, but I don't know if I want to afford it. If you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, shoot the guardian serpent just to make sure I don't get blinked like I just did. My hands are freezing right now. I don't know why. It's not that cold today. It's like, it's, it's like kind of cold, but it's not like super cold. So I'm pretty surprised. Okay, shoot, shoot, shoot. Port projectile again. Hopefully kill this guy. Nope, didn't work. Need to slow these idiots down. Do I have blink? I hope I have blink. I do not have blink. Guys, I didn't have blink. Uh, this is extremely bad, and I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I just threw, like, my entire life away for no reason. That was interesting. That was a- that was an interesting strategy. I don't know what I was doing. I'm sorry. I, like, kind of zoned out, and I was like, huh. Like, I was thinking, like, hey, you know, the tran that crossbow looks a bit like a, uh, looks a little bit like a, like, blade hands. Do I have blade hands on right now? And then I started tabbing, and then I'm like, hmm, wait, I'm not blade hands. Hmm. Thinking. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. I'm just, I, I was zoned out. Like I said, my brain's kind of melting right now. Um, the, the economics that I'm doing, uh, for my final exam, which is on the Thursday, uh, after which, by the way, I'll be able to stream a little bit more and do a little bit more high investment or high time investment videos, like more newbie corners, like to my stalk scroll, all that stuff. Cause even though it is one take and I don't edit those videos, it is still like, what that means is basically if I fuck up, I actually restart the whole video. Um, and I also have to like plan notes and like make all this other stuff and like make talk make light talking points. I'll probably be doing more like more close scripts to, to read, I guess, in the future. But you know, for now it's just like talking points. But it does take quite a while, surprisingly, um, for these kind of videos. I think I think like a forty minute or thirty minute long Demise Talks crawl or newbie corner takes something like two hours to create. Uh, in total, or something like that. A, li a little bit more than two hours, depending on what kind of, like, what kind of topic it's about, how hard it is. And, like, that's not including the time where I'm just sitting there thinking about it. Um, that's just, that's just, like, talking about, like, production costs, I guess. Um, so, yeah, like, I, I do want to do more time-intensive stuff. I mean, on, on Friday, I actually did a three-hour-long stream where I literally won a full game and did morgue analysis at the end. It was really fun. Uh, very enjoyable to just kind of sit there and play crawl a bit. Which is not something I do very often nowadays. I just kind of... I only do it on the channel, mostly. Uh, I don't remember really the last... The last game... The, uh, I guess the last game I played off, off recording would be on Demise 101. The uh, Minotaur Berserker. Greater Minotaur, Greater Berserker uh, thing. I haven't really done it in a while. Which is why I did it on Friday. But yeah, just some like casual shit. It was pretty interesting, I guess. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, someone also asked me to do a Demigod next, so I'll probably be doing that, just so you guys know. Probably a Demigod Mage. It's going to be painful, I know. It's going to suck, I know. But, you know, we haven't done it in a while. I'll probably do it on Pina Colada as well. That should be pretty good. Um, Alright, so... I think Swamp we can do now, I'm pretty sure. Like, we have enough health now to probably push through. I think at the beginning we were kind of weak for some reason, and there were just a lot of Hydras or something around the area. Oh, we just didn't go in, never mind. I think we were just weak at the time. But we have a pretty decent set of stuff now, I think, so we should be able to just crush everything that comes here. Which would be ideal. Okay, use portal projectile. Try not to shoot the guys over deep water, because then my bolt's just gonna fall off a cliff. It's depressing. You can never retrieve them. It sucks. Uh, enchant weapon, I guess we can put that on the flaming weapon. Like, it's not a huge deal to put it on this obelisk. An obelisk is an alright weapon, and most likely we'll be using an obelisk throughout the game. Unless we somehow lock out, get an acquirement scroll, and then, you know, get a triple crossbow, but I don't think there will be many opportunities for that, to be honest. Like, we might have one chance to get that, but I don't think that we'll be able to get it very often. Um, okay, well, that's fine. I move one tile, he moves five. That's just the classic fucking Che strategy. Feels bad. And he is in water, I guess, so it is fair, but, you know, it feels bad. 
okay, just shoot around me. Again, being kind of careful to uh, not uh, drop anything in the water. It'd be annoying. And I instantly did it twice, and that's depressing. I only have 171 bolts. Th then again, like, it's not going to matter in, like, 10 seconds, because I'm about to get to uh, vaults, and that'll just completely fill up my my boltometer. Oh, gosh. I got uh, dragged into the deep water, or into the shallows. It's fine, though. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I guess we can try out what this thing is. It's plus three of eight. That's pretty good, actually. It's probably better than three int, which is really not doing much. Four int, which is not really doing much for us right now. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess spell casting is worthless on this character. I'll train a bit of in Evo, like not too much, just enough to get the evoke fog down a little bit. Like right now, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's it's like a literal fog scroll. It's infinite free fog scroll. It's pretty good. So I don't want to like, I don't want to say it's bad. Even though I do have minus two slay. I mean, like, I don't know why the minus two slay is there. And again, it, it really did bring back that like argument that I made that like, I don't honestly think that the unrand arts need to necessarily have a downside to all of them. Like Maxwell's Thermic Engine, for example. Like, why the fuck is that even a thing? Like, it's great, sure, but you need to have... It gives you RF minus, RC minus. It's like, why? It's like, why do you make it unnecessarily unfun to use? Just, it feels weird. Oh, it's Jorgren. Hey, Jorgren. How are you doing, man? You've popped up in every single one of my cosplayer series. Are you trying to sh are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to lead me on? Are you trying to say, hey, let me in. I'm sorry, but um, the the deep dwarf earth elementalist from like I think three years ago now is still the leading jog run advisor. Uh, the cosplay's already been done, bro. In the first road to lair, it was so long ago. I don't even know what like. Oh shit, it's Lonian Hydra. Ah, oh, dicks. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, can I just fucking murder this kid? Can I slouch? We're about to take a lot of- oh, never mind, he died. Okay. <laughs> I was like, we're about to take a lot of damn, and then he instantly exploded. Okay, uh, fair enough. Like, n nice. Nice, -u. Uh, I'm getting fucking obliterated here, and there's no chance that I live. So this is gonna be bad. Yep, I need to get out of here, because that was really bad. Holy shit, that was bad. Um, having slimes next to you while you can't move is really bad. They're just going to fucking group up and start hitting you with like 120 damage slime attacks. And I don't really want that. I'm not, I'm not into that. I know it sounds like I would be into that, given my friend was Mega Slime. But, you know, I'm not into that. I, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable talking about slimes mega hitting me. Not into that. Uh, oh, here we go. Nice. Ooh, ooh, some chainmail. Ooh, I am excited. I'm fucking hyped. Give me that chainmail. Oh, shit. Okay, well, for some reason I just managed to one-shot that guy with slouch. It's pretty good. Oh, by the way, Steam Summer Sale's on. But, uh, just to, just to have something to, like, mention, I've been playing a bit of, uh, Reseteer, which is a... It's kind of like Stardew Valley, um, except instead of farming, you 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 own a shop. Uh, it's a very JRPG, and it's very fun. I actually like it a lot. Been playing for like ages. It's a bunch of capitalism. It's very enjoyable. Uh, check it out. It's five dollars right now. But yeah, that that's the game that's been holding my attention for the last two days, and it's actually not gonna lie. It is the reason why I didn't record yesterday. I just kind of forgot. Like by the time I got to. Uh, by the time I was done studying, I was like, ugh, Seeb's playing fucking Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. It's too stressful, too stressful, especially on a Che guy. Um, so all I did instead was just play fucking, play fucking so single player video games like a nerd. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, hmm. I wish I had those 15 bolts, that would be nice, but alas, it was not so, it was not to be. Okay, I don't know what the hell I have. I have Slow, Portal Projectile, Shrouded Globaria, and R Regen, which are not, like, particularly incredible uh, spells to have. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that at some point I get any kind of defense, but or any kind of cool spell, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying real hard. Also, by the way, fun fact, uh... You can't constrict people that you're range attacking, even in melee. It's interesting that I 
didn't know that until now. I mean, I guess I assumed that you couldn't constrict, but I never really confirmed until literally just then. I should switch to my melee weapon for a bit. What if I switch to my melee weapon? Attack him. Oh, I can switch. Oh, and then the... What? Okay. I don't know if that Rakshasa got killed from constriction. Oh, sorry. If, if like, the act of blowing up into three was enough to break the constriction, or if, like... As long as I'm me like I, my constriction only lasts as long as I melee. I don't I don't know if that's the case. I'll have to test that out with something that can be killed um, relatively safely with fairly high amount of health. But uh, yeah, for the time being, I'll just I'll just fuck around and kill these guys. Being ranged in vaults is very nice. Uh, lets you snipe a lot of stuff that normally would be quite a danger to approach, um, which is good for me. And portal projectile makes the boggets really easy. It also kind of makes um, killing like sentinels and stuff kind of easy, which is good. I'm happy about that. So our character is very well suited for dealing with, uh, oh, oh, okay. I need to kill this guy. Why am I, okay, well he's pain mirror now, so I guess I'll just kill everything else. Probably didn't need to, I don't know. God, my brain is like, I can actually feel my brain turning to mush right now. Like, I can't formulate anything. I can't think of things. I'm, I'm, I'm so distracted by the thought of doing work the second I get off this computer. <coughs> I was actually very good today. And I uh, didn't turn my computer on until 12 o'clock because all my work is, uh, <laughs> it's on the, it's just all printed out. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do some work. I worked for almost 40 minutes straight, and then I fucking went back to playing games on my phone. That was pretty good. And I think I had McDonald's, and that was also really good. McDonald's, surprisingly decent. Is it overhyped as a food, though? The As the king of fast food? I don't know. But it is pretty good. You know, Australians have very different menus for... I, I, I always wanted to go and see what, like, American McDonald's looks like. And, like, I hear there's so many, like, cool fucking things like, I don't know, Applebee's or whatever the fuck they're called, IHOP and stuff. All these things that I don't have because, you know, I'm a fucking pleb. Ooh, it's a plus two velocity crossbow. It's honestly not as good as my other weapon, but I guess I can hold on to it. I, eh, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to do with it. I guess I'll hold, I'll hold on to it. I mean, theoretically, Velocity is still pretty good. I mean, it's not as good as it used to be. Like, I explained the whole shenanigans with, like, missile brands and stuff from the past, but it's still good, right? Probably just not as good as the, uh, the older stuff. Um, as the, as Flaming or Ice. I think Ice is probably, like, like, Freezing is probably the best Arbalest brand right now. Um, or maybe Electrocution is. Possibly. I don't know. Oh, penetration might be as well, but that's a that's an artifact only thing. I'm pretty sure it's not like you can't just get a random obelisk of penetration. Unfortunately for us, okay. There's a lot of obelisks here, but they're all like flaming, which is probably not going to be as good as plus six anyway. Like the chances of me, ah shit, this is bad. Yep, I'm gonna have to double slouch here just to survive. That was that was gross. Custo, uh, curse skulls. Not, not good. Wait, are they curse skulls? What the hell are they? Is it curse skull? Yeah, 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 curse skull. There we go. You think the curse skull and the cursed toe are like cousins, and there's like cursed fingers, but they're not in this game. They're in like a different game, maybe. And like you know, close, uh, curse hand, cursed leg, cursed, uh, cursed head, cursed neck. You know, just a bunch of shit. Cursed femur. You know, just all the, all the body parts. And then, like, if they form, they become an ancient lich. That's, like, that's the law. This is Demise spitting real law right now. Uh, what do I want to train? Mm, I don't know. Strength, sure, why not? I don't care. Like, like, I have so many stats. I don't give a shit. It doesn't matter. It's all good. Okay, corrode me. That's fine. I don't care. Stab, stab, stab. I mean, I'm not stabbing. Uh, it looks like I'm stabbing. Because I'm walking up in melee to them for some reason. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to shoot. 
Holy shit, that guy had repel missiles. So I just kind of sat there and I was like, having a firefight with him. Bit of a firefight. I mean, like, this character, like, Vashnia is actually pretty straightforward. Oh shit. Wait, now I'm in danger. Oh, never mind, I'm not in danger. Once I got, like, Che to work. Once I got to, like, this point, Che's a pretty strong god. And by pretty strong, I mean, like, probably quite absurd. <laughs> in terms of, like, as a character. So I'm pretty much set for the game, unless I made, make a major fuck up. I mean, I haven't even used te Step from Time once, and, like, I trained Evo, Invo thinking I would need to use it at some point, but I just didn't. Double slouch there, of course. Get rid of the, uh, get rid of the Ice Fiend. It's too dangerous to be kept alive. Or more accurately, I just used it to get rid of the, the Arcanist. Oh, the Demonologist, whatever the fuck. Sorcerer? All the elves look the same. They all have, like, very similar names for some reason. Basically, any any elf with, like, a bright robe is a pretty scary elf. Like, any purple elves. Scary as fuck. Be careful. Oh, shit. Okay, well. You're gonna have to just slouch three times there to kill the fucking fire giant. Because apparently I don't have fire resistance. Oh, that's so unfortunate. We actually got the armory vault, but we got fucking six or five obelisks of nothing. Really? Usually there's, like, a triple crossbow there or, like, some kind of artifact obelisk. That would've been cool. Come on, man. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I'm sad. Alright, that's fine. I don't care. I'm the best. I'm not worried about it. I'm not insecure. Read this. Oh, it's silence. We already did Menace Run. You don't need to, you don't need to tell us again, man. It's all good. Aw, oh, man. I really was hoping to get a triple crossbow from that vault. I was like, I didn't say it because I didn't want to jinx myself, but yeah, I really was looking forward to getting a triple crossbow there. Ah, <sighs> such is life. The only time when I'm playing a triple crossbow guy, I don't get a triple crossbow. I could have also played Dith Menos, but I don't know if that would have been more Vashnia friendly. I feel like Vashnia is just like a generic guy. Um, wasn't there a demigod character? Like a unique? Francis maybe? Is Francis a unique? Oh, sorry. Fra Francis is not a demigod. Never mind. She's like some kind of like blade or... Oh, like some kind of iron shot summon demon motherfucker. I don't know who that is. Who's the one who's like supposed to be... Uh, oh, what's this? Kogu's reference book on the escort. Escort is in like... Prostitute? Oh, this is a lot of translocations. Apportation? Oh, no, it's just apport... I, do I want to pay 1,000 gold to get apportation? Mm, probably not, to be honest. Uh, uh, book of enchantments would be nice, but... Maybe? Deflect missiles. I mean, I could definitely get that. I could see myself getting that. Book of Fire, Book of Transfigurations. No, well, hmm. I mean, yes, maybe. Maybe the Enchantments book, yeah. Alright, fine, we'll get it. We'll get it, just because no one said anything else. You know what I mean? So it's not my fault. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up uh, Deflect Missiles here. And probably train some, like, stuff now. I'm gonna turn, uh, hmm. I'll turn crossbow's training down, because I don't have a triple obelisk, uh, triple crossbow right now. And I'll start training some charms. I'm loath to turn, uh, five skills on at once, so I'm just not going to. I'll train air magic at some point. I just won't think about it too much. A uh, bunch of air spells. That is quite worthless to this character. Air is not exactly what we want to see from, uh, for a Vashnia cosplay. We need to get a fucking Translocate. I might have to actually end up spending a buttload of money. No! I can't afford No! I lost a fucking heal wounds because of stupid ass men ass. Oh. Uh, tell me he didn't wake up from that. Oh, it's Zathua. Hello. How are you doing? Um... Okay, just turn on turn on the the weapons. Wow, do I not have fire resistance? No, I, he, I do. I guess he just hurts a lot more than I was expecting. Damn, that was painful. Like even through RF plus, that still did a lot of damage. Oh, I do not want to fight with that storm dragon. Oh, I do not want to fight with any of those guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and close that door because that's not worth going into. I don't want to wake up Menace. We we saw what he could he did to 15 rune characters. Like he just obliterated everything. I hear once he actually threw 500 magic darts 
at a fucking at a single draconian and watched him as he just flailed around doing nothing to Menas. Menas lo silently looked at the guy as if laughing while he threw wave after wave of level 1 spell at the draconian who was unable to piss fuck it's Menas. Hello. Hey Menas. Bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. All right, let's go ahead and pick that heal wounds up. Hell yeah. Um and I guess we'll just Quickly take a look at what's over here. Nothing. Alright, cool. And we'll never go there again. The end. Holy shit, it's only been 25 minutes. Fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, that's, like, probably a decent amount of progress, but I guess it's not. Just because this character's so fucking disgust. <gasps> oh, we already have a really good one. Nah. Mm, nah. Like, normally that's a really good purchase, and it's a no-brainer, but we already have, like, probably the best one to have right now. I don't think you can get any other better ones other than, like, the Naga Barding of Swiftness, like the electric scales, the lightning scales. Oh, also, keep in mind, note, note that we went from 200 volts to 650 in, like, volts. Pretty decent, if you ask me. That's why I like it. I live for this shit. Okay, this guy's just, like, deflecting my missiles left, right, and center. I don't know what that's all about. Like, I just, I just shot, like, 50 fucking missiles at him. He just ignored me completely. I was a little offended. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, smack, smack, smack. I probably should train armor, right? No, I am training armor. Oh, I'm so smart. <laughs> uh, <coughs> deflect missiles at 89% fail. Hmm. It's a lot of fail rate. Should I, should I continue to train... For deflect missiles, we'll just give up. Am I a quitter? I guess I'm a quitter. I'm not that much of a quitter, though. No, no, no. We're good. Man, I really wish I had apportation, except I would have to pay a thousand gold to get a level one spell. That seems like a little bit of a waste. I probably could have just flight it over, but, you know, drowning is a real possibility when you move at the speed of a very slow snail, trying to have sex with an even slower snail. Like, while moving. Don't know why they were having sex. Just don't ask me. Snails are really weird like that. Apparently snails are like... Um... Was it... What's it called? Like... Multi-gendered? I don't know what it... I don't know how to... <gasps> Wait, that was a scroll of acquirement. Wait a minute. Hang on. Hold that train of thought. Hold on a fucking second. Give me a weapon. You motherfucker. You asshole. You knew. You... P you piece of shit. You fucking... Aw. Oh. What an asshole. Give me a hand crossbow. I need a triple crossbow, not a hand crossbow. Read the fucking law, dude. Come on, man. God damn it. Really? No triple crossbow. That's so depressing. <laughs> Why? Why did you give me a hand crossbow requirement scroll, you fuck? You fuck. Oh, I'm in I'm in a slight amount of danger. I'm gonna bend time. Now these idiots are trying to face me, but they're all slow, so they can't do anything about it. Alright, they're still doing a pretty hefty chunk of damage to me, so... Maybe I shouldn't be as cocky as I as I am, but, you know... If I wasn't cocky, then, you know, all deaths would be avoidable. Right? Quote-unquote. Hey, it's an Etten. Oh, it's a fire giant. Hello. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna protect my lost bastion of hope by standing right out in the open and resting and shooting anyone who comes near me. Truly a, a, a big brain play, if you ask me. And once you're done asking me, like, who would you even need to ask, right? Ah, shit. Slouch, slouch, fuck off, don't talk to me. Don't even look my way. Fuck you. <laughs> I am not, I'm not taking any of the, any of the shit that I normally take from these, uh, spark wasps. I'm far too slow. I think if I moved once, I'd probably get killed. So, just double slouch. <gasps> Apportation! My good friend. Oh, man. And Leza Beckoning. Oh, man. That's a real good look. I can go slow. Corona. And then I pull him into melee as a ranged character. Whoa. Powerful. Question mark. Not actually powerful. Unluckily. Uh, do we really have no translocations here? Translock. Oh, well. It doesn't work. Alright, well, it's been about 30 minutes, so I'm going to have to leave it here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Going to go upload now and do some more work. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week, because I'm going to be having a bit of a stressful one, if you know what I mean.
Anyway, goodbye.